you've heard more than curse by Ice Peak, you haven't heard everything. Either way, you won't believe the following information about this controversial band. <laughs> everything we know about Ice Peak. Straight out of Russia. Ice Peak began on October 19th, 2013 at 8.36 p.m. About 22 seconds into that minute, this precise moment in time is when their obsession with electronic, experimental, and the macabre would align. If ever the stars do. But let's talk about the two members first and get all the juicy details we can find about these people. Anastasia Kreslina and Nikolai Kostlev were born. Anastasia Nasty Kreslina came into being on November 13th, 1995. Yes, I know my pronunciation is bad. Nikolova K, August 31st, the same year of 1995. The girl did have a mysterious sibling whom stayed in the shadows for millennium unknown, but also has a cousin by the name of Alexandria Kircher. Upon transforming into a seven-year-old person, Anastasia packed her creepy bags and moved to the famous Moscow, of which she claims was a gloomy place in time. She was quoted saying, when I moved, her musical journey would begin. A fork in her road, if you will. That sounded pretty cool. Anna met Nikolai Kostofli, her future bandmate in Ice Peak, an instrumental music enthusiast. Nick and Anna, as I'll refer to them now, uh, were not some White Stripes brother and sister fake out or pretending to be cousins, but they have had some fun with the media when the idea stirs up some dirt, 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 dirt. Nick was a musical project uh, called Oceana and would soon ask Anna, as I like to call her, to join in his musical journey as a part and friends. As her vocals took his musical musings to new heights and also acted as a muse, the pair decided that their educational pursuits could safely come to an end and that a life as musicians was the dream that they chose. Living in an artistic commune, they did go back to school for a brief stint, but life as a musician ultimately proved to be the better option for the two. Ice Peak Begins. We are in that Batman Begins phase. That's, that's a really good movie. With Nick creating the instrumentals and Anna singing and writing lyrics, Ice Peak was born. Nick's father was a conductor for an orchestra, giving him an interesting musical background. Ice Peak's sound is a smorgasbord of genres, from folk, house, in the lowercase h, by the way, synth pop, metal, rock, alternative, trap, witch house, and electronic. Ice Peak would make music with potential to reach a variety of music fans, while at the same time sending some sensitive folks running and screaming from their villages and cities. I know I had to watch my back a few times while sampling many of these songs that were just scary. But before they honed that sound, they experimented with guitar riffs, uh, something called torn rhythms, and heavily processed vocal elements. After these experiments were well received by online communities, the duo knew they were headed in an artistically satisfying direction, the right direction. Where did that band name come from? Having a difficult time coming up with the name as the original, um, as is original as the sound, the duo decided on a point and shoot situation where the first thing they saw would become the band name. Ice Peak is a Finnish brand name and the brand name on a laptop case that would indeed be the first thing they laid their eyes on. Huh? They made it more creative by changing the E to a 3, making it incredibly hard to read or pronounce correctly, and to avoid the brand company coming after them for the trillions and quadrillions of backpack money that is without without a doubt tied up in that organization. Oh yeah! <laughs> Performing
coming in 2013, the band's first performance didn't go over so hot or cold. Katy Perry. St. Petersburg was not impressed, but they didn't give up and subsequently rocked and folked the socks off of the good folks in the party witch quilts where 599 people and one gorilla were in attendance. The gorilla gave a glowing review in sign language and then the Planet of the Apes happened or something. In 2014, the duo released two EPs titled Substances and Vacuum along with the singles Eclipse, I'll Be Found and Really, 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 Really. This was through Electronica Records. Written in English, the EP focused on death and politics, both bold and impassioned. They would describe their new career as audiovisual, oh my, tourism, tourism, audiovisual tourism, we'll call it that, because the duo created the visuals intertwined with the, the, the music. Their music video for Ether would prove their merit on all these difficult aspects of the band. Ice Peak quickly garnered attention from across the entire human planet called Earth. They created a video for Go With The Flow with Brazilian wax poetic so pathetically. I don't want to beat around the bush, Foxtrot, Unicorn, Charlie, Kilo. I mean, while in Brazil, their 2017 album, Sweet Life was their first Russian language output, and the ditty Sad Woobitch would become an earthwide bop with over 57 million plays on something called YouTube. What the Russian heck is YouTube? That is strange. As the language from this art project changed, so did the composition of said songs, sad songs. Their Russian language streak would bolster their popularity to new heights with whatever this world is, smeardy Blarshnet. Seeing skyrocketing success, do you guys like waterfalls? Controversy. There is no death no longer. The, the smirty Blarshnet song, along with the overall undertones of the music, caused some Russian satanic panic. There were multiple protests of the music video, claiming that it showed authorities in a negative light. Another factor was a supposed affront to mental health. Some thoughts uh, were directed at the duo to, that fans could be harmed by hearing this music. The Ice Peak music, man. Russian government forces began shutting Ice Peak concerts down, going as far as to threatening venues if they hosted this music, self-fulfilling the anti-police talk of Ice Peak's music, supposedly. On December 1st, of the year 2018 on Earth, the band and their associates were actually arrested at a train station. There was public outrage and an uproar of support for the Ice Peak duo. Powers that be again playing the role that they had been written into in the artistic expressions of these two souls and their cohorts. By expressing, by oppressing the band, the system had martyred them making them bigger than they had ever been before. More popular than ever! Do you guys like puppies? Ice Peak have yet to be assimilated into my ranking system on the channel, but once I get to work hearing every song ever by this blessed duo, they might just make the cut of my top 230 favorite artists. I highly suggest all of you listen to them and see what you think about the Ice Peak duo. <laughs>